every policy, when you implement it, people will come up with concerns, grievances. When you listen to them and you act upon them, you reshape it. That is what makes that policy better. But I sit here, I'm the president, of course, but I don't make decisions. But I can tell you that the concerns that we've received, we are putting all of them together. You see, when Congress meets again, look, we say, yes, Congress in its wisdom took this decision. But after we implemented it, these are the shortcomings. What do we do? Do we restructure? Do we push it over completely? Do we cancel it? Do you make it optional moving forward? Or what do we do? Congress will decide again. Definitely. Because you can't say you lead a group of people and you not listen to their concerns. Oh, it's wrong. So you put them together. But you see, if you're not careful to, you may be swayed. Because normally, normally, the people who feel that this policy is a very good one to them will not complain and will not talk because they feel they are okay. It is only those that feel it's not a good one to them that would come out and make lots of noise about it. And so you have to take your time to compare whether those people who are silent are the majority or those who are talking are the majority.